If you've come across a problem where you've tried to upload a plugin to your WordPress site and you've gotten this error, then uh, one of the other ways that you can install this plugin is through your cPanel file manager. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your cPanel and you're going to click on your file manager. And once you're logged into your file manager, you're going to go to WP Content and then Plugins. And then you are going to upload the file for the plugin. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and upload this plugin. And it says it's complete. So I can close this window. I can reload this and you can see it's right here. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to extract it. And there we go. So now it should be in here. You can reload and there it is. You can actually delete the zip file then. Now let's go back to the website that we were trying to install the plugins. And we'll go to Installed Plugins. Then if you scroll down, you'll see that the plugin is now there. You just need to activate it. So go ahead and click on Activate. And you're all done. You can also do this via FTP. Um, you may have to unzip the plugin and move the entire set of files into the plugin directory. That takes a little bit longer. Um, some of the different um, file managers or FTP managers don't allow you to unzip or extract a zipped file when you're using them. So that's why I like to use cPanel. So this is how you're going to install a plugin using cPanel and the file manager.